thank you very much for your kind invitation uh, at this meeting and thank you for and especially to say with this kind of uh, a sas level of, uh, of lecturer this morning so uh, my lecture today is a reflection concerning what could be the impact of the lower lean amputation due to diabetes uh, during the COVID pandemic so okay so this is a, a soft screen capture for yesterday for from the web page of the young Hoskin university so yesterday we reached millions of infected uh, uh, for COVID 19 among the world and in, as you can see in the center of the of the slide um has been described as China. The main impact of the of this disease is suffering of the west of the globe. So you can see how the, the best the, the majority of the of the of the cases are now located on the West Europe and in United States and Latin America. Everybody knows every 20 seconds uh, a lower lead amputation due to diabetes is performing among the world and this is a, a dramatic impact of the diabetes in the lower limb but what the, uh, the reflection could be how could the COVID-19 could impact on diabetes foot amputation globally so according with this it's important to remind what is the leading factor for lower limb amputation so in the majority of the literature, we found that the gender male, the presence of the peripheral arterial disease, or the combination of the cardiovascular disease, the property, the poor metabolic control, the foot infection, both soft tissue infection and bone infection, the presence of charcoal food, and the current static status of the smoking are the leading causes for lower lip amputation associated with diabetes. And another problem with the lower lead or the rate of the lower lead amputation is the delay in the referral of this patient to the multidisciplinary team and especially to the specialist units for preventing this lower limb amputation. So what is the consequences of COVID-19 on health system? So as some of the previous speakers mentioned it before, the, we are suffering now an overload of emergency service. We are uh, suffering now a saturation of the intensive case beds with the suspension of the health service considered non-essential. This is crucial because in the majority of the cases, the treating of passing with diabetes and its complication is considered in many countries among Europe as non-essential service. There is a general recommendation for avoiding to go to the hospital to the risk of contagion. So that means that the, pa the patient are scared to the hospital and on the other hand we have a, or we are living a community care overflow definitely all this factor has an impact in the lower in amputation rate so what is the consequences of covid19 on diabetes foot so there is a delay in diagnosis on the main complication especially peripheral arterial disease and infection this kind of patient and majority treating at home or treating by community definitely COVID-19 has an impact in there it, it has a different regional impact as, as uh, uh, we can uh, see before the COVID-19 hitting in different um, levels different regions among the world and therefore the impact of amputation could be different among the world so probably we can expect especially in United States, in Europe and Latin America, an increasing on the rate of lower lip amputation because there is the region that has hitting, uh, especially with the heart hitting due to COVID-19 um, in, in problem. So the question is what uh, uh, do we can and uh, what we can do uh, at this moment. So I think it's quite important to increase or to improve the fastest pathway to the patient to the specialist or the diabetic foot unit, and especially during this condition. For this reason, the Foot International adapt the fastest pathway to the COVID-19 um, 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 uh, situation, and that means that we adapt the situation in which the patient has to refer to the uh, uh, to the hospital and when the patient has to discharge to the community. That means that 
perhaps we need to reduce the length of the stay of the patient at hospital and we need to um, uh, delay the uh, surgical intervention for some kind of patient that probably can wait but obviously we need to identify very well what kind of patient needs for a uh, urgency approach. That means peripheral vascular um, um, revascularization and that means especially treating on all serious infection that needs for an urgency approach. So that is very important and is important to spreading in this special um, uh, situation. And additionally, we need to remind that it's very important to take into consideration that the majority of these patients are now treated by in primary care. So that means that we need to educate the people treated in primary care and, and the, some kind of these patients are treated at home. So we need to develop some tools to educate people at primary care. So at the first time, we need to educate very well community nurses and general practitioner. Uh, they need to understand what is the standard of keto diabetes food and especially they need to understand how or when to refer this patient to the diabetes food units. And on the other hand, it's very important to educate the patient on how to treat this patient by, by themselves, especially at home, and educate the patient when the patient needs to be in contact with the specialist and when the patient needs to go to the emergency where the patient detect any sign of alarm. So definitely, COVID-19 has, uh, um, has an impact in lower lip amputation due to diabetes, but the more important thing is that probably we are not seeing so far. So the problem is coming soon, and probably in the next month, we are living an increase of the rate of lower lip amputation because the majority of these patients are now at home, and the majority of these patients are now treating at primary care. And another important consequence of COVID-19 is that, as we saw before in previous studies, the majority, uh, there is a reduction of the hospital admission of this kind of patient. But we don't know now if this reduction is due to that the patients are treating well or are not referred properly to the hospital. So probably in six months, or in one month, we are seeing new data in which increasing of the rate of the lower uh, amputation, especially due to that um, missed diagnosis and the rate referral in patients with peripheral arterial disease and in patients with foot infection. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>